welcome back, it's Shelby, and today we are making some Christmas pens. So I have actually done one other pen video for decorating pens, I'll link it above if you missed it. But basically I'm starting, we're doing three. I'm starting with just like your typical ballpoint pens. I like these because you can pull the top out and replace the cartridge then if you need to without remaking a whole new pen. But I got some super cute Christmassy things from the craft store. I have a nutcracker. I absolutely love nutcrackers. This one works too. I mean, you can't actually crack anything in there because it will break, but fully functioning nutcracker, which is my favorite ballet, so I'm super excited about that. This little sprig of like multicolored holly, which is super cute and just very festive. And then these, which are glittery Christmas lights. They don't light up, but they do have glitter all over them, so you know I love them. And these I was actually planning on splitting up, but I was thinking just like one by itself isn't like, I don't know, super, super Christmassy. Like, I don't know why. I, I just, I like them better together. It's a little bit big, but I'm gonna run with it. It's really lightweight. I think they're made out of styrofoam, so not a big deal. I also have hot glue scissors and this really pretty ribbon I found. It's kind of like almost like a candy cane stripe, only it's green, um, but it's glitter and regular ribbon. So this is going to be my ribbon and it works with all of these because they all have green on them with the exception of my nutcracker, but you have white and red and then you'll have green. So it's very Christmassy. And that is basically everything we are going to use for this craft. If you want to make your own, I will link it below along with my socials. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it so I know. Let me know what you think down in the comments and let's get going. So this is a super easy craft. Basically all I did was take the lid off the pen because when it's on like here, you're not gonna be able to get the ribbon down to the bottom. So just go ahead, take that off. Line up whatever you're starting with. Maybe we should start with the nutcracker. I do like nutcracker the best. So we're gonna start with that one. And he's just gonna kind of sit right on top of the pen like that. Woo. And then I've got my ribbon and my hot glue. So basically what I'm going to do with the hot glue is just put a little dollop so that he stays and then run a little bit extra on the pen just like that. And then use that as a place to start my ribbon. I'm getting it right up to the base of the nutcracker and I'm just going to spin it around nice and tight, make sure he's secure. And then I'm going to run a nice little bead of hot glue just between the pole of the nutcracker and the pen to kind of simultaneously glue the stick down, but also give the ribbon something to hold onto. It's ribbon, it's lightweight. You don't need to go all the way around the pen, but it does give it something to go and hold onto every time, which is nice every time you loop it. So my little nutcracker is dancing around the pen as I'm trying to do this. The hot glue is hot, so like I need safe places to put my fingers. That's why I'm like gripping up by the ribbon and it's making him kind of spin around the pole. But as soon as I get some of my ribbon on and I'm just bringing it down in what I'm trying for are equidistant wraps, so about halfway down the ribbon. This is about an inch thick ribbon, so each layer is about half an inch and it does create little um, pockets of ribbon, so just wrap it tightly to make sure that you get a nice smooth finish all the way down. But all in all, it is pretty easy to do. Definitely can't complain on that front. Get all the way down to the bottom, nice and wrapped, and then we are going to put Another dollop of hot glue, wrap it, cut it, smush it down, and there we go. Number one of our Christmas pens could not be easier, could not be simpler. How cute is this? So these are perfect kind of all season round. Well, obviously not the Nutcracker, um, but just pens like this that you can make just super cute little pens and change them out month to month, season to season. You could do like clovers and shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. You could do, you know, flowers for summer. You could really do so many things. So I love these. So he's number one. We're gonna get started on number two, who I think will go back to the holly because I kind of gypped him last time when I threw it over for the Nutcracker. So same thing, pen, holly stick. This one's a little bit thicker, but I think that's okay. I'm just gonna run a big bead of glue across the top then to, because it's not a thin little stick. It's kind of a thicker, thicker deal. So we're gonna push that on like so. I'm running out of hot glue, so I gotta put another stick in the gun and then do the same thing, kind of run the hot glue down the sides to give the ribbon something to hold on to as well as the actual sprig of holly to hold on to the pen. 
And at the top of the pen, that's where it's most important to get the ribbon really well attached because otherwise it's just going to fall apart. So attach it and wrap it around a few times before you start going down. Maybe just like once or twice, make sure it's a full circle. Then start going down. Ooh, hot, tot tot, like I said. There we go. And that is about as far down as my glue went. So we will put some more. So I put the hot glue down and I'm actually using the ribbon to press the stick into the hot glue on the pen. Like I said, it's quite hot and I don't want my fingers on that, but I also do need to get a nice firm seal between the stick of the holly and the pen. So that's why I'm just kind of like cranking on the ribbon because I want to make sure that it is nice and connected all the way down. It's very important. There we go. All the way done. A little bit of glue on the end, wrap it and cut it. I do like to wrap it and then cut it because if you put, if you cut it, then put the hot glue, then wrap it, you run the risk of pushing the hot glue out onto your finger when you smush it, like just smushing it out and burning yourself. So that is number two. It looks like a little bouquet for Christmas. Super cute. I do love the glitter on the ribbon and I like that it doesn't transfer as much as I love glitter. You know, it's also nice when it doesn't transfer. So up next are our Christmas lights and we're all done. Super easy craft. I love this. Pull the pen lid off the last pen. Pop a little hot glue on there. By now you guys are all pros, right? So glue. This one I want to kind of, because it leans forward a little bit, like the springs come forward, I want to make sure it's at the back of the pen and not just like going forward away from the pen if that makes sense. So it's coming across the pen. So that's what I personally want. And this time I was smarter about choosing sticks that like end where I want to on the pen. I think you guys probably, well, if you saw my last video, if not, like I said, I'll link it above and below in the description. You know, I had to trim a few of the pieces I chose. So, I mean, it worked out fine, but it's also just so much easier if you don't have to. So I'm going to pop a little bit of hot glue on the pen just to start the ribbon like that. And with these springs, I actually have to get it like under the springs. So... Maybe I should have put my stick up a little higher, but I didn't. Wind it down. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. But nice and tight. Make sure the glue is touching at least part of the ribbon on every wrap. That's important. A little bit right at the end. Glue, glue, glue. Oh my God, how perfect is that? How fast is that? I think that was like less than 10 minutes tops. I will put some close-ups at the end because I love these and I think they're so adorable. But yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful to help you make more festive items for the Christmas season. If you like the video or the craft, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to see you here again soon if you'd like to subscribe and uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. The three little pens all done up. How cute is that? They turned out so well. Love them.